ready to sound the alarms, even though they've lost five of the last six games. These guys believe in themselves. A win here can get them back to what they do best. Cam, Spurs, we'll be right back after this. It's NBA basketball on 2K Sports. We're glad you could join us on this exciting Friday night matchup. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Kevin Love. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge down on the sideline. David? Good evening, Kevin. Well, the Spurs are always competitive. So what kind of people fit their culture? Greg Popovich says we're looking for character, people that have gotten over themselves. A sense of humor is huge. You've got to be able to take a dig and feel comfortable that you don't have all the answers. Kevin, it all starts with Pop. Yeah, it always has. You and I know that personally. Thank you very much. And Greg, at this point in the year, if your system overall doesn't seem to be working, how much can you really change before the offseason? Well, usually a system change would come with a coaching change, but sometimes it's not the system. And sometimes you just need a different voice. And keep in mind, you also have to evaluate that roster and find out if the players on that roster are a good match for the system. Here's the starting group for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Mobley and Allen, the two big men inside. The guard set is Garland and Sexton. And it's Lavert in at the small four. And for the Spurs. The four and the five, it's Johnson and Pirtle. Then it's Josh Richardson. Then there's Murray. And it's Primo in at the two guard spot. You know, you got to respect Sexton's scoring ability. The closer he gets inside, the more effective he is. Murray, and it's Murray with the jam. He puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on him. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the San Antonio Spurs. Coming into this, having notched a win against the Rockets in their last game. Yeah, and that one, their intensity on the offensive end was not matched by their opponent. That led to some easy buckets. Yeah, you know, you can't allow them to get into a rhythm on offense. Um, once that happens, then you're in trouble. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Garland kicks to Allen. Levert the pass to Garland. And here's Sexton. Pass to Mobley. And Pirtle sends it back. And Pirtle deserves a lot of credit for his shot blocking ability. He's a dynamic and dynamite shot blocker. So first quarter just over a minute and a half in. The open look here for Sexton. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. Sexton's got five now. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Spurs passing it around. Oh, he's going up for the alley-oop here. Outside for Murray. Pirtle trying to get open. Murray, no good. The Cavaliers have gone two for four from the field so far today. And it's rare to find a young big man with such an advanced skill set. Mobley can handle the ball like a small forward, has a smooth shot and, and great range. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter, just served him up. Murray against Garland. Murray, the pass to Primo. Back to Murray. Shot clock at six. Johnson in the corner. And the three ball is good. And as much as Mobley helps you out in the offensive end, Greg, he can get you stops as well. Yeah, I mean, he's got great instincts. 
with quick reflexes. It can slide his feet on the perimeter and has great timing as a shot blocker. I mean, what else do you need? His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Here's Mobley. Offline with his three. For San Antonio, they've gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Johnson's shot is off. For the Cleveland Cavaliers, their last game a loss to the Jazz in Utah. Garland looking it over. Sexton for three. It doesn't go for him. And the Spurs taking it the other way. This their first chance this season playing the Cavaliers. Yeah, a pair of losses for them in their meetings last season. And the cold hard truth about it, they just had a hard time beating anybody last year. You know, those were games where you thought they could get a win. But now they need to forget about it. It's in the past. Let it go. And they've got to focus on the present and try to make a better run of it this time. It on the wing. Shot clock at five. From 15 feet away, shot is good off the back rim and in. Sexton's got his third basket of the night right there. The Spurs have gone four of seven from the field, shooting over 50%. Richardson with it. He's picked up by Lavert. And the foul called on Jared Allen. That's his first foul. So it's San Antonio now. Pirtle kicks to Murray. Lock at six. Misses that one. He's made one and missed two this game so far. Garland against Johnson. They get a hand on it. Kicks it out to Richardson. Stolen by Levert. And now the fast break. Garland with the ball. Sexton for three. That's good, and it's Garland with the assist. Sexton's got a couple of threes now in the first for the Cavs. Here's Primo. Last time, 14 points for him. Murray, the pass to Purdy. Here's Primo. Murray right side. Shot clock at six. Shots over Garland. Garland with the rebound. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Sexton kicks to Levert. A second chance effort. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Spurs trail by six. Here's Primo. No points in the game yet for him. Johnson outside. Pass to Primo. Over Sexton. San Antonio again missing. Down low. Here's Allen. And Pirtle sends it back. Here's Johnson, and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And probably surprising to scouts, Johnson has played power forward quite a bit. 
Well, you know, he's not as tall as most power forwards, but he's really cut up. He's bouncy. He's energetic, fearless, and he's really a mismatch for most other fours. Shooting two. The first one falls. And one of Johnson's teammates recently called him country strong. And Johnson himself acknowledged he has a lot of room to get even stronger. That is scary. That one misses. And Greg, along with the power, Johnson brings great athleticism. And that makes him a tremendous rebounder. Can switch defensively. It's within the realm of possibility that he becomes an all-star someday. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Yes, indeedy. Well done. Stolen by Levert. Kicks it out to Allen. Back to Garland. A three. Trains the three-pointer. Oh, great ball movement there. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for the Spurs. It's a 10-point game. Passes to Primo. Pirtle with the ball. Guarded by Garland. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Here's Garland picks one up. Boy, I like the way Pirtle uses his 7-foot frame. So skilled in how he earns calls, draws fouls on his way up with the shot. And he can't get the first one. Both teams deciding to change it up. And the second free throw, good. Cleveland with the ball. They're on an 18-7 run. Sexton with it. He's picked up by Walker. Love kicks to Markinen. Love dishes to Garland. Over McDermott. Second shot opportunity. Garland left side. Six on the shot clock. Outside, Sexton. Shoots over Walker. Misses off the right iron. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Hey, look at Hurdle. Making it look easy, dropping the hammer down on the defense. The Cavaliers leading by seven. Sexton, the pass to Markinen. This is to Garland. Markinen kicks to Sexton. Latre. San Antonio with the rebound. Here's McDermott. It's hauled in by Brock. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration, even for a nanosecond. And Love throws it down. And Markinen, the big fella, has nice court vision, solid at finding open teammates. Spurs trail by nine. Now Walker, he's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Nick Dermott for three. Markinen pulls it in. Cleveland's gone three of seven from three-point range in the first quarter. And it's Vassell with the foul. That's his first foul. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Windler's checked in. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Garland. Outside, Markinen. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And marking it out of Finland, Greg, was one of the hot names in free agency this last summer. And surprisingly, didn't get an extension before the season. It's just hard to find seven-footers that can shoot like Markkinen. You knew at least a few teams would try and lure him away. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Cavaliers. They've set the first half tone by getting out on the fast break and getting the defenders on their heels. They've gotten their fair share of points off turnovers so far tonight, too. And he knocks down the first one. And I tell you, the versatility of marketing makes you salivate, guys. A big guy with range for days 
And I think he's only going to get better and better. And Markkinen drops them both. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throws. Vassell, the pass to Collins. The pass to McDermott. He's covered by Brown. Some solid defense from Brown. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Here's Rondo. And that one is off. Walker with some nice D. Spurs trail by 11. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Now here's Rondo. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. San Antonio's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. To the inside. Here's Vassell. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Brown's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Windler. He's defended by McDermott. And it's Love missing. And Collins has got the ball here for the Spurs. They trail by 11. Takes it inside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And when you think of McDermott, the first thing that comes to my mind anyway is three-point shooting ability. He's very effective spacing the floor. And he's got his first free throw of the game. He's been doing really nice work at the line. 83%. And guys, that's an increase in his free throw percentage um, from last year. Uh, maybe not a large one, but it is a little Shoot bit higher, two. so you've got to like that progress. The free throw drops from McDermott. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And so it's Cleveland with it. They have a nine-point lead. This game coming after a loss against the Jets. Yeah, tough game on the road. The, the guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, and it's not easy to do. Much easier said than done, but they're capable of making it happen. It just comes down, I think, to will and desire. Here's Walker after the main shot from Lowry Markkinen. That's good from McDermott on the assist by Walker. McDermott's got five now. This is Dougie McBuckets at his best. A lights-out shooter from beyond the arc. 1.30 left in the first quarter of the game. Walker against Rondo. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. There's 117 left to play in the first quarter. And here's Walker. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Nice shot by McDermott. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooters. The Cavaliers leading by five. Outside Rondo. Out to the wing. Arkinen passes to Brock. Five on the clock. Here's Windler. He's defended by McDermott. A bit of pride at stake. Trying to get that last three ball back but couldn't get it to fall. 
Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Back to Collins. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. The Spurs shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And the first one at the line is good. So he gets them both. Cleveland leading by three. Here's Rondo. Offensive struggles continue missing again. Here's the sound. Now the dish to McDermott. Colin Sexton, you can tell he's feeling it tonight. And guys, has been the driving force for the Cavaliers. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We've got more in store for you right after this. Well, Rajon Rondo winning titles in Boston and Los Angeles, and he expressed the difference winning titles then and now in the later stages of his career. Just having my son witness the opportunity of me winning at a later age of my career. I won when I was 21, but coming full circle many, many moons later, you know, my son's nine now at the time, so he was able to witness me win a championship, and that's probably the greatest feeling I've ever had in basketball. I can understand being able to share those special moments with the ones you love. And that's what it's all about. And for Rondo, who knows? And maybe someday we'll win even more as a coach. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland, uh, well, what's your take? Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. And, you know, for them, guys, it's all about tempo. Keep the pressure on and do so as much as possible. we got Doug McDermott, and it's Walker in at the point guard position. So that's who San Antonio starts the second lead. Love the pass to Brown. And finished off by Brown. You know, Love is, as we've seen, a solid passer for a big man. Great at breaking down the defense and firing the pass to an open teammate. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. After making the finals four straight years from 2015 to 2018, there have been some lean years lately for the Cavaliers. Over the last three seasons, they've only won a couple more games than they did in a single season, the title season of 2016. Coach J.B. Bickerstaff says the losing is tough on everybody, but I look forward to the journey ahead. Kevin, back to you. What do they say, D.A.? The journey is the reward. Thanks. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. That team is a little road weary right now. That is the sixth consecutive game away from home. And out of bounds as the Spurs gain possession. And we see teams around the league trying to integrate star veterans with talented rookies. Greg, it's not always easy, is it? Not at all, Kevin. And a lot of times it becomes a choice between win now or win later. Though the teams with great coaching and development can oftentimes do both. And the Spurs making a change here. Richardson's checked in. Walker's shot is off. The Cavaliers trailing. To the middle. Here's Windler. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Windler's got his first bucket of the night. Hey, you can't forget about this now. Rondo's averaged double digits assists multiple seasons. As good a passer as any in this league. Those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that team. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. 
Windler the pass to Rondo. Levert inside the line. Misses off the left iron. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. And Walker throws it down. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? Boy, that was a great dunk, and we've got a great game here. Here's Rondo following the bucket by the Spurs. Levert with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Six to shoot. Back to Rondo. Shoots over Walker. They get it back. Allen. Off with the layup. Spurs leading by three. Right side to Walker. Spurs passing it around. Back to McDermott. From deep. Levert grabs the miss. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. And Mobley throws it down. Boy, Karis Levert has done a nice job elevating his playmaking ability, which helps him and his team. Now here's Walker. Stats on him. He's averaging nine points a game. Pass to McDermott. Kicks it out to Richardson. And here's Walker outside. Can't hit that one. And Cleveland the other way now. You know, I think of Karis LeVert as one of those guys capable of going off on any given night for big numbers. He has that kind of explosive ability offensively. Windler with the bucket. And the Cavaliers lead by one. Guys, what a wild first half this has been. <laughs> a while back and forth start, that's for sure. And now the first time out called here for the Spurs. And that explosiveness of Levert. We've seen it on nights when he gets hot and becomes unstoppable. Greg, how about that game in 2020 when he went for 37 points in the fourth quarter and overtime alone? Levert's a player that doesn't know the meaning of the phrase heat check. He can give it to you, boy. So both teams changing it up here. San Antonio's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Murray looking around. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Cavaliers have gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the best. That's a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was on the way down. Spurs trail by three. To the paint. Here's Pirtle. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Cavaliers have gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're 5 for 9. Boy, Levert gets really good elevation when finishing. So smooth around the rim. Here's Sexton. And Pirtle sends it back. Richardson outside. Murray outside. Will it go? And it's Murray with the jam. You know, they give him the ball and let him quarterback the pick and roll, which speaks, I think, to how confident they are in Murray, guys. The Cavaliers leading by three. Pass to Levert. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two-for-six start. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Primo, the pass to Murray. Passes it to Primo. Launches it. Shot clock at six. The offensive rebound. Here's Pirtle. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. pirtle has got seven. And Pirtle has stick intuitiveness on the offensive glass. He just throws himself in the mix to come up with those boards. Now, here's Mobley. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Utah. Over Johnson. That's short off the rim. That's one he knows he should have drained. 
Here's Richardson, and it's Richardson slamming it down. Exactly what Richardson can do on the drive. I mean, he can handle the ball. He's got a quick step, and he can finish when he gets to the rim. Here's Garland. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against Utah. And if you look at his free throw numbers, you can see what kind of pressure he put on the defense. He was in attack mode all night long. Allen finds Sexton. Misses the three. And, you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide-open look in space there. Here's Allen. Score of the basket is third after five shots. Well, you see the hustle from Allen there, guys, and his relentlessness and the mindset to keep at it really allows him to gobble up those offensive boards. Now here's Murray. He's coming off a 19-point game against Houston. And don't forget about his assists. His playmaking was as good or better than his scoring. He, he was in complete control out there. Here's Sexton following the score by Jakob Pertl. Sexton with it. Now guarded by Pertl. Levert with a wide open look. No good on the triple. You know, guys, you can tell he wants to contribute more, but his teammates have picked up the slack for him. That's what being on the team is all about. Primo with the bucket. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it's seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. And so it's Cleveland with it. Now Sexton. 11 points for him in that last game against the Utah Jazz. Shot from 12. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got four rebounds now tonight. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have. Staying aggressive and playing under control. It really turned it around here in the second quarter after shooting less than 40% from the field in the first. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Now, here's Mobley. He's got seven. Here's Sexton. Up and in on the layup. Sexton's got 12. And he is just an explosive athlete. Sexton not at all phased by the contact. Murray finds Pirtle. Back to Murray. Stolen by Garland. Here's Mobley, and Mobley throws it down. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right, and that's severe punishment right there. Exactly. I mean, when you're running neck to neck, those kinds of mistakes tip the skip. Murray, good. He's got it going here in the second. Any momentum as this game continues to go. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They trail by one. Lavert with it. And it's Richardson picking him up. Allen trying to break free. And it's Lavert missing. San Antonio's got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. Oh, a four. Fundamentals, guys, using the one hand slam. Well, he makes the basics look pretty exceptional. Now, I'd suggest that he stay with those basics because we've got a tight one here tonight. Garland against Murray. Garland left side. Here's Allen. Mobley kicks to Garland. Drops in the tray. Garland's got the game tied up here for Cleveland. He does not lack for confidence. And he shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous scorer. To the inside. Here's Pirtle. Kicks it out to Johnson. Launches a three. He buries the long-range jumper. Nine points in the game so far. And when Purtle sees a guy on his team open, he finds him right away, whipping that pass there directly. 158 left in the first half. The pass to Levert. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. Murray outside. Pirtle dishes to Murray.
Johnson outside. Primo, the pass to Purdy. Comes over Garland, and the Spurs scoring again. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. The Cavaliers trail by three. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Cavaliers. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Zach Collins checked in for San Antonio. Vassell comes in for Richardson. Then for the Cavaliers, Browns checked in for Allen. Kevin Love comes in for Mobley. And Lowry Markinen subbed in for Lavert. That one goes. Count it. Garland's got his third basket of the night. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Murray, the pass to Primo. 46 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Just five to shoot. Deep two for Murray. Love grabs the board. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch, and the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. Catching up on the changes for Cleveland. Windler's checked in. Ajan Rondo subbed in for Garland. Now here's Brown. Following the miss by DeJounte Murray. Brown finds Love. And Love throws it down. You know, easy does it there for Love. That was real close. Here's Primo. beyond the arc and again it's the Spurs from deep he talked about a back and forth game this is the definition you have to love these kinds of games scoring wise keeping everybody on their toes and that'll do it for the first half a competitive game so far Spurs out in front they lead by a bucket it's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline David take it away Thanks very much here with Greg Popovich. Pop, what did you see in the first half? Uh, we had ball movement. You know, we weren't in mud. The guys were in attack mode. Nobody held the ball. You know, you pass, catch, or shoot. And we did that a lot in the first half. Yeah, you had them swiveling, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A pretty close game for the Spurs throughout the first quarter. They kept at it on both ends of the floor, and at the end of the period, they had a slight deficit of three points. Remember, they trailed after one, but a great second quarter gives them a two-point lead at the break. Kenny, what was your take on San Antonio? They've run this offense seamlessly. Each guy seems to understand his role. They're making smart decisions with the basketball, and I can give a shout-out to the playmakers. This team's success is because of you, brother. Shaq, how do you think Cleveland plays? They need to get away from the three ball. Shoot them if they're open, but if not, you'd like to see them work for a better shot. It hasn't been there for them tonight. They're just forcing the issue right now. And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter. Just about to get started. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. It's been quite a game for Colin Sexton. Man, how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. So on the floor for Cleveland. The guard set is Garland and Sexton. Mobley and Allen, the two big men inside. And it's Lavert in at the three. 
Richardson against Garland. Sexton on the wing. The rebound by Johnson. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Murray for three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. And in the past, Murray's coaches have said he wants to be pushed. He's a tough kid who's overcome a ton. Takes nothing for granted. Wants to earn his keep. He understands what a privilege it is to play in this league. Murray outside. Pass to Johnson. Now Pirtle guarded by Garland. And it's Pirtle that time on the assist by Johnson. Johnson's got three assists in the game. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Murray against Garland. To the middle. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, you know, Laverge is pretty well put together at 6'7", which allows him to bang inside effectively. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And I'll tell you guys, I mean, to see the improvement he's made in his free throw shooting in the space of just one season, I think it's been remarkable. And the free throw drops for Levert. And Levert, the Ohio native, has a ton of potential, folks. A tall, lanky shooting guard with really good playmaking ability. Both shots good from the strike. And here's Richardson. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Murray kicks to Richardson. That's tipped. And it's blocked. Sexton for three. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. Levert's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Here's Primo. Seven points in the game. Good on that shot, and with that, the Cavalier lead is cut down to just two points on the bucket from Pirtle. Garland, the pass to Allen. Back to Garland. No good that time, and San Antonio will go the other way with it. There's the drive, and there it is for him. Primo's got it all tied up now for San Antonio. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. And so here's Cleveland following the bucket by the Spurs. Allen outside. Outside, Sexton. San Antonio with the rebound. Primo's got rebound number five here tonight, and it's Murray with the jam. Murray, you give him that type of opportunity, you're asking for trouble. He is a strong finisher. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. Lavert in the corner. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Lavert's got four points this quarter. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Murray with it. He's got ten. Richardson right side. Murray against Allen. It falls through, making him six for 11 in the game. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. 
I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Murray against Garland. He kicks to Sexton. That's tipped. Richardson against LaVert. And there's Richardson. That's good on the assist from Pirtle. Richardson's got the lead up to four now for San Antonio. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Spurs. Their defense has been outstanding, closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either, and it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. Sexton's shot is good. You know, we, we've seen this with Sexton in college, and he can get into a zone and just take over a game offensively. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. So it's the Spurs now following the basket by Colin Sexton. San Antonio again missing. Cavaliers have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. It's blocked. They recover it. And gets hacked by the D. He'll go to the line. The Cavaliers shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And they've increased their percentage quite a bit since last season, guys. First free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. The Spurs have gone 6-9 from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. In the corner, it's Richardson. Shoots. Cavaliers with the rebound. Allen's got eight rebounds in this game. Outside Garland. Kicks to Mobley. It's Levert on the wing. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Levert's got 13. You know, these are exactly the shots, guys, the coaching staff wants Levert to take because they know it gets him going. Shot to stop the run and finish off by Walker. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their four lead. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. Now, here's Sexton. 17 points in the game. It's Allen on the win. Pass to Levert. Down to five on the shot clock. Sexton for three. Here's Allen. That one good for two. He's got eight. Well, you got to do much more than that to slow Allen. I mean, this guy is long and athletic, capable of converting through contact. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. So it's the Cavaliers now. Outside Garland. Inside. Sexton kicks to Garland. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Richardson against Levert. San Antonio with the rebound. Left side, Walker. Driving inside. He doesn't hit that one. 
And so it's Gerlin who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. It's a one-point game. Mobley at the elbow. Back to Garland. Now here's Levert. T right on him. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Boy, Karis Levert reads defenders very well. This guy is an instinctive offensive player. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. I thought we might see the defense adjust at halftime to slow the break, but that has not been the case. Another part of their game that's made a difference tonight is all the second chance points they've been able to get. First one falls for Zach Collins checked in for San Antonio. Vassell comes in for Richardson. A big group substitution here for Cleveland. Browns checked in for Jared Allen. Kevin Love comes in for Mobley. Lowry Markinen's checked in for Garland. Rajon Rondo is subbed in for Sexton. Lavert hits both of them. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half. And that's taking care of business, fellas. Now here's McDermott. Ten points for him. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got five rebounds tonight. That'll go on McDermott. That's his first foul. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. Cleveland leading by three. This is his third trip to the free throw line. And the first one drops. He hits both from the strike. San Antonio's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Walker the pass to Collins. Passes to Vassell. Down low. And it's blocked. And that's evidence that Markinen is working on his defense, and it's critical that he does so. And blocks like this show he's making good strike. Now here's Levert. He's got 17. Here's Rondo. Here's Brown. And finished off by Brown. And turning down what would have been a tough shot for himself into an easy one for his teammate. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. It's stolen by Rondo. Lavert in the corner. Here's Love. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. And now a nine-point Cavalier lead. The Spurs have gone better than 53% from the floor since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. Walker the pass to Vassell. And they get it. And the layup by Walker. Walker's got four this quarter. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen. Here's Rondo. No points in the game yet for him. Greg, let me tell you a little known fact about Kevin Love. He played Little League Baseball with Clay Thompson. <laughs> They've been friends since they were eight. Imagine if they were teaming up on the court instead of the diamond. Even at eight years old, that's an inside-out combo that probably could have dominated some high school teams. San Antonio again turning it over. Cavaliers making a switch here. Windler's checked in. Cleveland leading by nine. Now Rondo, Brown outside. Here's Windler, and goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the basket there anyway. Yeah, that's a tough call for the ref to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's that's how they saw it. Spurs shooting it beautiful here in the third, 56% from the field. And 
And there's the pass to Collins. Inside. Count it. And the Cavalier lead has been cut to just nine points on the basket for McDermott. I think he's got to keep working on his interior game. Doug McDermott showing he wants to be more than just an outside shooter. Cleveland's gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. Outside Rondo. Back to Markinen. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Rondo's got six assists in the game. Now here's Walker. Six points for him. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. And the Spurs making a change here. Murray's checked in. Colin Sexton, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Garland comes in for Rajon Rondo. 153 left in the third. Murray against Brown. Count that one, and the Cleveland lead has been cut down now to just 10 on the basket from Collins. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. Now, here's Brown. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Pass to Sexton. And here is Markinen. Five to shoot. Pass to Love. From 10 feet out, Vassell grabs the board. San Antonio's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Outside Collins. Over Love. Shot by Collins, no good. Cleveland leading by 10. And it's out of bounds. Well, they say it was last touch by Brown. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Johnson's checked in for Walker. And uh, 101 left in the third quarter. Passes it to Vissel. Now McDermott. Johnson in the corner. From outside the arc, hits the three-point bomb. Johnson's got it back down to single digits for the Spurs. Yeah, I'd like to see more passes like that from McDermott, especially when guys are open. Love outside. And Markinen with the basket on the assist by Love. Markinen's got five points in the quarter. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Count it. Murray's got 14 points. 26 seconds left to play here in the third. Now, here's Sexton. Defense right on him. Round with it. He's picked up by Collins. Garland against Johnson. Six on the shot clock. Takes the 13-footer. He's off on that one. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's Cleveland bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They've had active hands in a forced a lot of turnovers in this one. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. It sure is. I mean, he's a maestro. Great vision. Terrific IQ. Everything you want in a point guard. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. On the court for San Antonio. Johnson is out there with Murray. Then there's Jakob Pertl. Then it's Collins. And it's Vassell in at the small forward position. 
Now here's Johnson. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. Here's Markinen following the bucket by the Spurs. Tries it from nine. Tries again, and the layup good by Brown. And the Cavaliers lead by seven. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. The cell, no good. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. The Spurs shooting has been just great so far, up at 56%. From deep, Johnson, again the miss by the Spurs. And so, Zexton will bring it up for the Cavaliers. They've held a 12-point lead early. Baseline try, and that one hits back iron. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. And it's Murray penetrating. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Elias Garland picks one up. Well, it's really hard to stop Murray there. I mean, with his size, mobility, and speed, sometimes the defense is just forced to make an adjustment. And he makes the first. How about this little nugget, guys? Uh, when Murray earned all defensive second team honors in his rookie year, he became the youngest player in NBA history to make the all defense team. And so Murray nails both of them. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Outside, Sexton. The feed to Brown. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. Sexton has to just keep developing his court awareness. You want to see more passing from him. The pass to Vassell. There's the trickle. No good on that one. And Cleveland the other way now. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team. And that's why they're ahead. And, and a memory I have of Colin Sexton in Alabama. How about he scored 40 points in a game where the Tide only had three players on the court down the stretch. Young fella was undaunted. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And in that game with only three players, Sexton almost led them to a comeback, Greg. In fact, they actually cut a 14-point lead down to three. And that tells you about Sexton's mindset. He was not prepared to let them lose, even under the toughest scenario you can imagine. And Sexton drops them both. And how about the explosiveness of Sexton, a crafty floor general who is consistent in how hard he attacks the defense. And it's Murray with the jam. That should give him a nice little jolt. Uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt here. And you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big-time finish there. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball, following the bucket by the Spurs. Now, here's Sexton. Tight defense on him. 
Misses from close range. Spurs trail by seven. Here's Primo. In the corner, it's Richardson. Three-pointer. Hurdle. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Outside, Sexton. A jump hook. And it's Primo with the rebound. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that call screen. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Now Love. Following the three-point attempt by DeJounte Murray. Coming off a big game. His confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Here's Primo. Here's Murray. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Here's Garland picks one up. Dante Murray does a nice job using that long frame of his to attract contact from the defense and still get it done. First one falls. Karis LaVert's checked in for the Cavaliers. And so Murray nails both of them. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half. But he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. Sexton's shot is good. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Pass to Johnson. Garland against Murray. Pass to Primo. Here's Pirtle. Kicks it out to Richardson. Good on the three-point shot. Well, I love the size Richardson gives you in the backcourt. And also the shooting. Sexton deciding where to go with it. Rebounded by the Spurs. Johnson's got rebound number five here tonight. Hurdle finds Murray. Johnson in the corner and stolen by Sexton. And now the fast break. Garland with the ball. Here's Mobley. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got seven rebounds in the game. Driving to the basket. The shot by Primo. No good. The Cavaliers leading by four. Garland kicks to Allen. Lavert the pass to Allen. Back to Lavert. Shot clock at five. Cleveland moving the ball around. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Spurs shooting a pedestrian 36% in the fourth quarter. The offense not doing their best work of late. Murray outside. He dishes it to Pirtle. Right block shot. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Garland's got his fifth rebound in this one. And so Allen will bring it up for the Cavaliers. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Inside, inside. Outside, Sexton. From 13, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Sexton's got 11 in the second half. 
Passes it to Johnson. Back to Murray. Dishes to Richardson. To the left wing. Murray against Garland. Murray, no good. The Cavaliers leading by six. Outside, Sexton. Right side, Garland. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. Sexton's got his third assist on the night. San Antonio calls timeout. And now, let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Darius Garland. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp. And his touch from the field, flawless. The, the teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some good positions. And boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. Great call to keep running all those sets for him. If he could only contribute like this for them every night, you can't overstate how much better it makes this team when he has a game like this. And on the road, no less. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alden. During that break, Greg Popovich really had some strong advice for his team. He said, do you want this game? Don't tell me about it. Show me and show your teammates. We've got to play better and we've got to play harder if we're going to come back. Thanks, David. Cavaliers have gone 6 of 13, so just above 46% on their field goal attempts are in the quarter. And then Allen slams it in. That gives him the double double 10 points and 11 rebounds. How about that? Throwing it down. Allen oozes energy and teammates feed off of it. Richardson finds Pirtle. Here's Murray. Floats one up. Doesn't go for him. Garland with the defensive effort. The Cavaliers leading by eight. Sexton the pass to Allen. Now the pass to Mobley. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. The Spurs shooting has been great up over 50%. In fact, 52%. Murray the pass to Purdue. Can't cash in from close range. For Cleveland, they've gone 7 to 15 from the four here in the fourth, right around 46, 47 percent. And it's Levert missing. Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. Well, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, it's going to be hard to come away with the win. Here's Primo following the score by Cleveland. Richardson, good. Boy, good ball movement that time. Allows Richardson to get the good look on the jumper he wants. The pass was right where it needed to be. Lavert against Richardson. It's good. Lavert's got 21 in the game. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now, here's Richardson. No good that time. Murray against Garland. It's Levert on the wing. And that one off the back of the rim and in. And now it's an 11-point Cavalier lead. Spurs shooting a paltry 33% in the fourth. Not a good showing for this offense. And Murray, here we go. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. He's got 22. Murray is a spectacular talent. And when he gets going, watch out. Cleveland's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Garland, the pass to Sexton. To the paint, here's Mobley. Slammed home, and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free-throw line. What's up? That one on Richardson. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. And that one misses. 
And it's still a close game. I mean, despite the fact that they've struggled to compete on the board. Yeah, you know, but down the stretch here, guys, they'll summon that extra effort to try and get it done, I think. And so it's Cleveland with it. And here's Levert. He feeds it to Allen. Johnson over to help. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Spurs trail by nine. Murray with it. Pass to Primo. In the corner, it's Richardson. Sinks the three-pointer. Boy, from the looks of it, it appears the defense is fine with him taking that shot, but he makes them pay when they do. Outside, Sexton. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. Garland, no good. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Primo, the pass to Murray. To the right side. Four on the shot clock. Johnson for three. Allen with the rebound. You know, to cut deficits, you've got to be making smart basketball plays out there. Taking care of the ball. It's not done by hoisting up bonehead threes like that one. And Joe Allen will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Six-point lead. Here's LeVert, and he jams it with authority. And, you know, LeVert, when he's on a roll, he's like a boulder. It just keeps snowballing in a positive direction, and nothing can stop it. And it's Murray penetrating. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by nine. Boy, you know, you look at the raw athleticism of Allen. Very enticing. I mean, he's a quick-footed, shot-blocking big guy. He's got a great future in this league, in my opinion. Here's Murray. 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. To the inside. And Pirtle gets it to go on the assist by Murray. You know, we know Murray's got some creativity to his passing game, but no need to be creative there. I mean, he sees the wide open man and zips it right to him. There's 45 seconds left in the fourth. Garland, the pass to Sexton. Chalk up two there. And the Cavaliers lead by 10. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. Richardson attacking. Pirtle trying to get open. Richardson, no luck. Outside Garland. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kevin. You guys pulled away in the second half. What were the differences? No, we all contributed tonight, and if we have a well-balanced, you know, scoring and uh, we're efficient on both ends, we usually end up winning the game. And, you know, like you said, the second half was big for us tonight. You got it done when it counted. Thanks very much for your time. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.